So now we'll discuss the panel here a bit. And um, so each one of these here is, controls a piece of equipment. This is our filter pump. And then these have been labeled here as to what they control. Our heater control is here and our solar control is here. This controls our valves and this is the mode button. So um, moving on, so each one of these can, can, can control and often do control one of the relays here. And on the back side of the board is where we plug those low voltage plugs in to control the relays. They are 24 volt uh, AC relays. And uh, so it's simply unplugged and plugged in. So what we've done here is traditionally the very first one down here on the upper left is going to be for the filter pump. But we're using the filter pump and we're controlling it with a, a comm wire here. So because of that, uh, we're not going to be using that. So we've plugged it over and over here where it says solar. So that enables us in the future to use the button here on the front that says solar to operate this relay. Um, otherwise, if it's over here on the filter one, it's just not, it's gonna click, but it's not, it's just gonna wear itself out and not be used. So then these are plugged in and the order that they're plugged in is typically um, right along this direction. So this would be the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And uh, so if we were to hit the, the, the seventh one here, then it would be this one right here um, and vice versa. So if we hit our uh, cleaner, floor cleaner pump, it's gonna activate this one. And then the uh, air cleaner, air blower is gonna activate that one. A water feature will activate this one. And then we have our lights and our spotlight right there. Um, we have two on this one that's not being used right now and also the solar is not used. The homeowner so chooses to add another breaker and have floodlights for the yard or yard lights or outlets or Christmas lights or, or landscape lights, whatever they can do so with these additional uh, relays. So um, that's what these do and how they're plugged in. Uh, down here we have our um, what we call our comm wire it transmits all the communications and so what we're using this for is it's going to uh, the protocol adapter for the or the antenna for the remote uh, on the iPad or on your smartphone or a remote antenna and that's what that wire is for this one here that has just two wires on it it goes down to the filter pump and so down here on the filter pump there's two wires that plug, get plugged into a connector just like it down there in the filter pump. And uh, so that's what that is. So it's controlled by the computer on its computer. Over here we have the sensor wires and uh, one is for air and one is for the water sensor. Um, they go disappear on down here. It doesn't really matter whether it's which color is plugged in to which slot here. Um, but the air sensor, it comes down through this low voltage channel and it's down underneath here. I don't know if you can see it right there. And then um, the water sensor is run all the way over to the piping. And it's wired in right here. And um, lots of times the manufacturer recommends that it is put between the filter pump and the filter. Um, we like to do that here so that should the pump lose prime it'll give a high temperature reading that's abnormal and we can kind of diagnose it remotely by saying there's, there's a problem because now the water is 100 degrees when normally it would never be that high and we can't do that with it plugged in all the way over there some people like to plug it in over here because that way it's clean water that's going past it and fine debris is not hitting it that might possibly be hitting it if it's plugged in here. Um, so each one has its pros and its cons. So then we have another remote wire here. And this one here goes to the pool heater. And uh, it is plugged in here and it turns the heater on and off as far as the control panel uh, 
closing, opening, and closing the heater switch. So, um, and it gets its, uh, what it does is it closes the switch and it gets its power from the heater itself. So the power would come up in here and whenever the control panel turns the heater on, the switch here is gonna close, sending power down the other wire and activating the heater down there. And where this is plugged in on the heater itself is over in the heater itself. I guess we'll go 